What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles. Today, I was sitting here thinking about the big four issuers, you know, Chase, Amex, City, and Capital One. And I remember that I didn't really talk much about Wells Fargo, and Wells has made some strides in the last few months to actually be involved in the travel credit card game. Today, I wanna to talk about Wells Fargo as a player in this game and if their latest travel card is up to snuff first and foremost before anyone starts typing about how they would never do business with wells fargo for this reason or that reason listen i understand but i honestly do not care if you have a google machine type in your favorite bank and then latest fine maybe you'll get some perspective it turns out all these banks are involved in one thing or another yes including your favorite bank. Does that mean you shouldn't do business with them or take their money and perks? Well, that's up to you, but if you clicked on this video, you must at least be interested in their cards. So today I'm going to go over the latest Wells Fargo card, and I'm gonna answer the question, in my opinion, is the Wells Fargo Autograph Journey Card worth it? Also, if you like videos about credit cards, points, miles, cash back, and travel, then consider subscribing. And if you get any value at all from this video, slap that like button and share it with your friends. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. Now, everyone knows the most important, or at least the most valuable part of a new card, right? Does it have a bonus? Well, the Wells Fargo Autograph Journey card does indeed have a bonus. Spend $4,000 in the first three months of opening the card, and you'll receive a somewhat standardish, if not, a little lackluster, 60,000 Wells Fargo rewards points. Now, the only way we are interested in redeeming these rewards is either through the cash back option, which Wells has, and they will deposit that money in a checking account, or through transferring to one of Wells Fargo's transfer partners. And yes, later in the video, I will go over those partners, and that part, at least I think, is interesting. But suffice to say that we all kinda like the option to cash out when life gets rough. Now this is the part where we talk about the $95 annual fee. Most of us have just gotten used to being taxed 100 bucks a year for gaining access to transfer partners. Chase Sapphire Preferred, the city Strata Premier, those two come to mind. But with Wells, you don't actually need this card to access the partners. So pay attention and see if you think this card is worth paying an annual fee when you could just hold the autograph card for free. Let's talk about the earnings. For the two previously mentioned competitor cards, one earns terribly and one earns quite well. Let's see where the autograph journey falls. The card will earn five times points on hotels. And it's important to note that this is hotels booked directly, which is generally folks preference. Five times for hotels is really good. Four times with airlines, which beats just about anything in this price range, at least off the top of my head right now. And the card has a general travel category, which is super nice. And that is three times earning, along with dining. So my surface thought is, this is a great earner for those of you that are going to be traveling through cash bookings. And I say that because so many of us in the game focus on these travel earnings, especially that hotel and airline part, and we end up realizing that it doesn't matter a whole lot because we're booking award flights and stays. Three times on dining, pretty standard for a lower tier travel card, and I think that just keeps up with that standard. Let's get back to that $95 annual fee and see if we can somehow mitigate that. The card comes with a $50 airline statement credit, which seems to be super easy to use as long as you can make a minimum $50 airline purchase. So it does seem like you won't get that credit if you're just paying the $5.60 taxes on those domestic award flights, or even the $30 fee for checking a bag. But if I'm honest, I think this is an easy one, but I'm also someone that doesn't use the term effective annual fee because I think it's misleading for the majority of folks. Just know that you will be paying Wells Fargo $95 every year to use their card. 
This card has no foreign transaction fees and it does have cell phone protection. To put it in a long line of cards that offer cell phone protection without cell phone services being a bonus category. And this card does have travel protections. I'm not gonna bog down this video with details of those. If you're someone who values those protections, then I imagine you're also someone who will dive into them to see if they're adequate for you. Well guys, that is the card, but the part that makes this one special is the fact that Wells has finally introduced, well, some travel partners. Most of us in the game that play on expert mode will generally transfer to partners to at least attempt to get more than one cent per point from these rewards. If you are someone that likes to cash them out into your checking account, there's nothing wrong with that. But let's check out these partners. Obviously, Wells has stated that this is basically just the first wave of partners. And I hope they're right because it's the smallest list I've ever seen. And some of them are even redundant. I'll go over the partners and their popular use cases, and I'll try to make it at least palatable for everyone, including those that are not quite as far into the game as others. First up, the Avios partners. The following programs use Avios as their currency, and these rewards are somewhat interchangeable to each other's program. For this discussion, I'll talk about them separately. British Airways. This is one of the more popular partners and maybe not for the reason you think. Avios are generally a poor way to fly British Airways, in my opinion, because they include super high taxes and fees. Think almost a thousand bucks in taxes and fees to fly in business class to London from the US. No thank you. How I use tons of British Airways Avios really isn't a secret anymore. I use them for short haul US domestic flights. Examples are Columbus to JFK or Miami or DFW. The amount has recently changed. I think I used to be able to do those flights for less, but 7,500 to 9,000 Avios each way makes for a pretty good redemption. Iberia Avios actually have a couple sweet spots and the most popular would be the US to Madrid in the off peak, which can be done in business class for only 34,000 Avios. Of course, once you're in Spain, I'm sure you can get to Mallorca or Ibiza for quite cheap as well. Finally, we have Aer Lingus, the Irish carrier, and they will provide some very affordable fares to the Emerald Isle, sometimes as low as 15,000 avios each way. Next up, you can transfer to one of the most popular partners, and that is Flying Blue Air KLM. 50,000 miles for business class from North America to Paris or Amsterdam. I'm actually about to board one of these as I record this video. Flying Blue has tons of monthly specials, but they do tend to be expensive if you're traveling with multiple people because the fees can really creep up. Avianca is a great Star Alliance partner and my favorite example of an awesome use for Avianca Life Miles is there are so many Star Alliance business class flights to Europe or 63,000 life miles. Think Chicago to Vienna, Austria, business class, or JFK to Zurich on Swiss Air in business. Avianca is one of my favorites for sure. Wells does have one hotel partner and it is a one to two transfer ratio to choice hotels. Now, for those of you laughing, I'm not talking about comfort inns or econo lodges. I'm talking Cambria, Ascend Collection, or even Radisson's, which can be really nice. I think this one is a great way to get big league value from these Wells points. So guys, that's all the partners at the time of this recording. The number is small, but there are also some hitters. However, I don't think you can use Wells Fargo as your main issuer if you are in the travel game. So what would you use them for? Well, after all this, I'm not sure. Nothing really stands out for me unless you're bonus hunting because in a vacuum, this isn't a bad card, but let's keep it real. There's nothing special here, and in my opinion, there are much better cards out there for most folks. But that doesn't mean I don't think you should take a shot at it either. Wells has a two times on everything card that can complement the autograph journey and the autograph card, but now that I've talked about this card for 10 minutes, I realize why I'm so late on getting a video out about it. 
Guys, that is it for me. If you want more information on cards, check out my super cool organized card link in the description below. Using my link definitely helps out the channel. And if you've used it before, you're great. As always, if you have stayed around all the way to the end, I thank you and I appreciate every single one of you.